Uh, hello everyone, I have quite interesting build for you today with a little bit of a gimmick. Uh, this is a Ritualist, it's Nature plus Dream and I put all the points into HP. It's just health, nothing else, all other statistics are at 50. And yet this build is quite efficient. Uh, we'll start with the gameplay, the only part about statistics now is that you just put all points into health and you will see why in a moment. Now. When we start, we just um, have to activate two buffs. One is going to uh, boost our HP even higher. This is the Heart of Oak from Nature. It's maxed right now. And we have 8916 HP at this point. This is level 36. It's probably gonna go uh, way better in the future. And then our main source of damage is Trance of Empathy. It's at 14 level, actually it's, it, it's 10 out of 10 plus 4 from 2 rings, which we will discuss later. Basically it's Trance of Empathy and we can go right now. However, I'm also going to activate all 3 minions. And we are going to make a short Hades run on normal. So as you can see, enemies are hitting me and they are dying from hitting me because the whole build is based on a reflection of damage which comes mostly from Trance of Empathy and also uh, three additional items. Those guys die as well and it works also for range attacks which we should see here. Those bowmen also die just by hitting me. And now the only problem I have with this build is that you have to use potions because I have too low health regeneration there's not much point to uh, mm, not much place for more. I have like how much now? Uh, 63 and I can probably get a little bit more if I switch to uh, legendary viney growth but generally it's quite low health regeneration so you have to either use uh, regrowth on your character but it's quite low level yet so it's like level 3 and it's not enough 370 health out of uh, over 8000 is not enough so you just have to quaff potions, that's the minus. But the plus is that you can basically just uh, move around the map and the enemies will die on their own. Uh, I also use those uh, minions because uh, when the enemy is hitting minions they also get hit with the reflection which is uh, which can be seen here. Trance of Empathy uh, on its own gives 85% damage reflected and it goes to all our minions. So every time uh, anything is hitting us or our minions, they get hit for 85% uh, of the damage they do. However, on my character, I also have those two rings, which give me uh, 26 and 28 damage reflected on top of it. Plus, I also have Prismatic Amulet with uh, another 16% damage reflected. So that's even more on my character. However, uh, as for the uh, minions it's only 85%. Now we'll uh, fight this uh, boss here like mid -bo mid boss, mini boss. Yeah, I guess you can call him mini boss. He's quite annoying. You can uh, kill some uh, characters very quickly. We just have to go through those uh, makai. It's quite easy, especially those uh, master archers are very annoying, but here they die in two shots, uh, their own shots. Now, important part is that you want to be at full health every time you go into battle because you have to turn all your HP into uh, basically a weapon. Before they do 8000 damage to us, they will take around 12000 damage because I have like 150% uh, damage reflection combined. So usually if they get hit for this 12000, they are dead by now and they can't do anything uh, else to us because they simply don't have enough HP. They take some of our HP, but they also take a lot of damage, like this. And the boss is down. Uh, th uh, there will also be a problem right now, because um, some enemies, very uh, few of them, I actually know about like two of them, they can burn our mana, and then we have all our buffs um, switched off, and that produces a problem. So we have to cool off a mana potion and uh, reapply them. This may happen here on this boss. It's like a quest boss. So I quaff a potion, let them all hit me. I quaff another potion, and that, that was it. It could take all our mana, and it did. So we just reapply all the buffs, 
get our minions and we continue and the boss is down so that's how it goes if you want to make an easy Hades run you can do it with this character he's pretty good for farming uh, items on uh, normal he's he's much slower on epic so I wouldn't recommend him much for epic but I'm working on it I can actually progress through epic but it's not very fast and again he's going to kill himself on us we can basically go on our own but then uh, if we use minions uh, some of the damage goes to minions and we are less likely to die actually I died four times on this character so he's very tanky and very safe And another group here, same story, they kill themselves. I also use um, disease, but I don't have to. It's usually for just for the start of the game when you have pretty much no damage. You don't have this trance because you only have it on level 8 when you get the second mastery. So you start with maxing plague. Uh, and this plague is like, let's see, this is 6 seconds duration and 33 poison damage. So it's like... 100 poison damage and it spreads through enemies and also lowers their health and then it gets even better when it's uh, upgraded it, uh, it can even more yeah it can reduce even more enemy health and then it lowers their resistance but generally this 100 damage is enough just at the very start and when you are level 8 you can already move to um, trance of empathy and just keep pumping it and eventually get to this place where I am now now we'll kill the boss. I will reapply one more minion. He, he, he can hit us very hard uh, just at the first phase, which almost kills us, but when he does it, he almost immediately goes to second phase. And that's the second phase. Uh, I have to reapply the wolf. Reapply this guy. He just killed the wolf, but he also got damaged quite highly. And I'm hitting with hitting him with my club which can be pretty much any weapon in the game and I will explain why in a moment basically we can use any uh, melee weapon we want if it's one-handed it's not about the bows but we can use spear on any other weapon we want now I heal I can do the ticket I'm not sure if it applies to the ticket if it's like a minion but we can try it as well and the boss is down so it's quite quite fast 750 with a little bit of explanation in the beginning I wasn't really rushing to the boss I was killing all the enemies on the way so that's what, how we can do very safe and very fast uh, Hades run so we'll now move to the farming spot and I will explain uh, how you put your uh, gear and uh, skills I'll just show you on smaller enemies on easier enemies And we have a problem now. For some reason it's blackened. Hopefully it will go back to motion. For some reason sometimes the game is doing this. I'm not sure if this is the game or my computer. Yeah, and we are back. It has a little bit of a hiccup sometimes when loading. I don't know why it happens, but it kind of happened to you as well. It's not exactly a bug-free game, but it doesn't have many bugs. Usually it has those hiccups and sometimes it can break your steam um, on exiting, but then you can just uh, wait a, li a little bit and uh, steam should be back to normal or you can just reset steam. As for the gameplay itself, it rarely breaks for me. And they all died, probably mostly from just hitting us. And we'll move to the uh, farming spot, which is not the best actual uh, place. This character has a little bit of a problem because he's losing health uh, faster than he can regenerate. So we can't really leave it for idling for a long time, but it should be enough just to show you uh, skills and uh, gear. should be enough. I will also switch off minions because we don't really want to kill the obelisks. We want them to keep producing enemies. So I'm disabling all the minions. We can stand here. You will see how it goes. Slowly down. 
like I don't know maybe two minutes and we'll be dead here but we can leave it for two minutes and it's gonna give us some experience so about gear uh, I'm using five parts with very high reduction to all requirements and this is the key part of the build because we have no stats to equip anything we just have 50 so I'm using 20% uh, here 19% here 19% here, 20 on the uh, braces and 20% on uh, leggings. And those four are actually legendary items because I took them on the legendary, I moved them through the caravan guy and now I can use those. And uh, it might seem hard to equip because it has like 467 requirement but because we have 98% of reduction we actually only need 9 strength to use it. Uh, those five parts give us 98% uh, lower requirements, so we can use any weapon we want. Basically, if we find any nice weapon on Legendary, we can spend like 20 million there with another character and give it to this guy and he's gonna use it. It will be very uh, hard hitting for this uh, difficulty, for like a normal or epic. So basically, you take any weapon you want, it can be Legendary, it can be... Uh, blue can be green doesn't really matter whatever you want you can use it I also use this uh, artifact it's slightly improving health regeneration and uh, it gives us plus one to all skills in nature it kinda helps because I don't have much uh, plus skills on this character uh, this is also key um, element of the build it gives us this uh, damage reflected it helps a little bit and also makes us more tanky with elemental resistance you also get elemental resistance from Heart of Oak, level 3, uh, the third part of the uh, skill tree. So we have pretty nice uh, resistances here. We also have a very thick armor, because all this stuff is from Legendary, so we have combined over 1000 armor. And uh, we also have a nice chance to block, because this is again a Legendary Shield. It can block 671 damage with 47% chance, with some bonus it's 52% actually. So it's very very effective. Uh, for the crown, it's uh, Empusa crown, I guess. I mean, it comes from Empusa, but it's like um, another version. Empusa has 15%, and it comes from the boss that we killed uh, before the Hades. Uh, this is just a legendary version of the same uh, crown, uh, of same type of crown. It doesn't exactly come from Empusa. I had Empusa before, but generally you look for anything with high armor and very high reduction to all requirements. The rest is just uh, just an addition. If you have something else, I actually don't. I only have uh, mostly reductions and uh, 22 energy regeneration doesn't matter really. But you can find the uh, same amount, uh, you can find same gear, but it can have additional bonus. For instance, it can also have on top of this more health regeneration. I just wasn't uh, lucky enough to find it. And yeah, this one covered. So the two rings, they are rare. I actually have them for, I don't know why, I just managed to find them. They give very high damage reflect. This is 26 and 28. So altogether it's 54% damage reflect on its own just from these two rings. You can basically use it on any, any character if you find them. But here it goes into synergy with this, with the Trance of Empathy. So then we add another 85% and we add uh, another 16%. So altogether it's very high. Also it boosts our Trance of Empathy by 4 points so it's level 14 very useful. And the bonuses to strength, intelli intelligence and anything else doesn't really matter. You can have it, you cannot have it. It will might, uh, well, it might slightly improve your uh, stats if you're actually hitting something, but you don't have to because this reflection will do all the damage basically for you. So I wanted to test on this character if you can play without putting any uh, points into statistics. And yes, you can. You just put points into health and you use reflection for your uh, source of damage, that's how it works, very nicely. As you can see, we are still alive somehow. We are leveling here, no problem at all. And I will now move to uh, skills. So, the most important skill in the Dream Mastery is Transfer Empathy, as we said before. One point into other trances, just in case. Uh, then we want one point into Lucid Dream. Because it's a passive, why not have it? Same goes for Distortion Field. It's not very important, you actually only need a Trance of Empathy and Heart of Oak. But you can put points, um, for instance here, Psionic Touch and Psionic Burn if we actually attack. Uh, then 
Actually, I don't have any points here besides those. I have one point into minion. We want minions because we want them, the enemies to reflect damage also from our minions. And that's it, pretty much. I'm not even going to upgrade anything right now here. As for nature, uh, most important is Heart of Oak. We basically start with it, I guess. And we at the same time we start pumping Plague. So Heart of Oak, 70% health. This is a lot. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's mostly what you get. And then it uh, gives us a lower chance uh, for, I mean, lower cost of energy uh, with a chance of activating. Not important because we barely use any energy. And this one is pretty nice. Uh, more elemental resistance. Why not? It's pretty good to have. Uh, this is regrowth. Uh, I actually want to max it at some point because uh, we can heal ourselves and all our minions or our co-op players in one go. However, it's very um, it's very weak if it's not maxed. So at the very beginning, it's nice to have it instead of health potion, but then use mana. So you can just as well buy uh, you can buy health potions and just quit keep quaffing them or you can use this and keep quaffing uh, mana potions. It's pretty much the same. But if it's maxed it's probably pretty good. I just don't have it uh, yet because my character is only level 36. Uh, Briar Ward, this is not not the greatest actual skill. I want one point into this just in case. It's gonna improve our health regeneration when we stand in it. Pretty nice. And some retaliation very low, actually not very good. Unless this um, Trans actually goes for this, because I'm not sure if those uh, Briars uh, count as minion, if they have any health, if they can take our uh, aura as well. If so, that it's awesome, because they're just gonna hit this and uh, just get hit for all the damage they do. But I'm, I'm not sure if it works like this. I just put one point just in case. I'm not really using it also. It's two minutes recharge, so we are barely ever gonna use it. But you can put one point here if you want. Then one point into each wolf, why not? We want the buff, uh, we want other buff, we want those wolves to not die that often and it would be very nice to max this one, to have three wolves. Again, um, the enemies will rebounce all the damage from three wolves, but for that I need 14 levels, so it's for a future. Again, one point into Dryad, same, same story, we just want her to exist, we want her to rebounce damage. And that's pretty much it. Uh, here I would um, also put one point, because when we actually attack something, we'll be doing more damage, thanks to lower uh, physical resistance, not psychical, but physical. And this one is reduction to enemy's health, small chance. This one is most important, some poison damage, some reduction to enemy's health. They will die even faster, and this can actually outright kill uh, whole groups of enemies on very low level. So if we just start with like um, killing center boss, we are leveling up to level 8, we can use this and basically it's going to uh, kill entire groups, entire camps of enemies uh, just for the start. And once we activate the Trance of Empathy, we are done, we can just use this and it's very very efficient. Now for the power of the club, as you can see here, we can kill Obelisk in 3 shots and this is not even a strength build, it doesn't have any bonus, it's just a legendary weapon. Mm, I will kill a few more here, so you can see it. You can just play it like, like a warrior, because you're very um, healthy, yes, you're like a juggernaut, normally characters have like two, three thousand health, we have almost nine thousand, so we are very very tanky, and we actually do very high um, melee damage, well, quite high, maybe not very high, very high would be like a thousand, but we can do quite a lot for a character that has pre pretty much no stats. So we, we can also use this. We have to remember to quaff those potions a lot, because now uh, when all those enemies are hitting us, they can actually kill us eventually. So we can easily kill those, and those are almost dead. We heal again, and we just wait until all, the, all of them die. I can use three growths. Can use this and we can clean entire room quite effectively. No dying, we can actually farm and we can do Hades runs. So this is quite efficient build. I recommend it for trying. It's uh, like uh, more a, a gimmick than a build actually because you don't necessarily have to use those uh, masters. Well, you can you have to have the trance of empathy, but you can have the same effect from just the three items, just will be three times slower. And 
I personally use more health because I want to be like twice as uh, tanky and be able to turn all this health into uh, actually into damage. But if you want to try to use something else, I guess you could. Mm, and it's absolutely possible to reach 98%, probably even 100% and more, which I did, which I did for actually strength only. But it, you can go beyond 100 and pretty much. Uh, it doesn't even show like zero, it's showing like nothing, it doesn't show any reduction, but you can still equip anything you want. So we can go to very, very high reduction, you don't even need to, uh, you don't even need it to be 98%, it can be less than that, and you can already use a lot of stuff. As you can see, I don't have those stats at 50, because they also get some from the masteries, it's not just 50 uh, per stat, it goes to 90, it goes to over 200, so it can... Uh, even this base can be much higher. You don't even have to be uh, have to have the base at like um, nine points. It can be 50 and can be more than 50. But because you stack all that, it just goes to 98% and probably 100. Uh, probably can also improve this character quite a, quite a lot. You can definitely change uh, uh, Epic Viney Growth to Legendary. You can also find this version with double health regeneration, so it will be even more efficient. You can also probably find better versions of this gear with additional stats, with additional uh, maybe upgrades, with more health regeneration, with more armor. I guess it's possible. Uh, there's a lot of place for improvement. So that will be it for the build. Hope you liked it. And we'll see you in the next video, probably about another build. So see you next time and thanks for attention.